Hey everyone, it's Marco here and back once again from my color screen bringing you the latest and greatest Android home screen tutorials. Okay Glass, show me a my color screen intro. So if you've been reading the Android news lately, you might be finding out that Google Glass is, being is going to be coming out later in the year or probably next year. And well, it looks really cool and all, but what if you wanted a home screen that looks just like that? Well, Alex T has done that and he has provided the home screen called Glass Home. That's right, you can have that Google Glass experience right on your home screen and it includes those pop-up widgets. So as you can see, you'll just say, OK Glass, and then it comes up with your list of commands and then those commands can bring you to different apps. So you can say, OK Glass, Google, and then Google whatever. It'll bring up the Google command or the Google app. Then you can say, OK Glass, What's the weather? And it comes up with another awesome pop-up widget right directly on your home screen. That's combined with an awesome looking dock at the bottom that you can add into whatever you want and the other screen that comes with your newsreader as well as a music player. Nice and simple, easy to do. So I'll be describing how to exactly do pop-up widgets which we haven't done before. So I'll be giving you a brief tutorial on that as well. So, and yes, I have to say it. Okay Glass, show me a video tutorial on Glass Home. Alrighty, so for this home screen, we'll be using Apex Launcher just because you can get that custom dock background like you see like that. So you're welcome to use Nova Launcher if you don't really worry about having a custom dock background. So we're going to be starting off here, so welcome to use SS Launcher as it comes with that great little pop-in widget effect for, for free basically, yeah. So you want to start by going into your Apex settings, we will double tap on the home screen and you want to go into your Apex settings and from here you'll start off with your home screen settings. Now it's not too important what you're, going to be what you're going to be setting for your portrait grid as you can always just customize it later but I found that a 9x7 worked pretty well for my Nexus 4. Your margins you want to be none. Manage screens you're going to be wanting two home screens just for your basically your Google Home as well as your newsreader and your, your music. Next you don't want to show the indicator that one at the bottom and then for your hide elements you want to hide the notification bar, hide, sh hide shadows and hide icon labels. That's it for the home screen settings. If you go back now, go into our dock settings. This time around, you want the dock to be on. Number of dock pages, that's up to you. I'm just gonna stick with three, and dock icons go for five. I made the horizontal margin medium just to make my icons fit in very well, as well as you want the dock as overlay, so it overlays anything such as your OK glass at the bottom like that. Next, you wanna go into your dock background. I selected it as custom, as now you can say select picture, and you can go say into your quick pick. So next you want to go into your glass home, that folder that you've copied onto your phone and you want to select that just dark, round, dark background like that. And that's pretty much it. My icon size, I made it a bit smaller, I made it 90% just so it fits in a bit better. And then that's about it. The rest is up to you. I also took off show indicator. You don't want to, sh you don't want to show when it's scrolling across as well as you'll hide the dock divider. That's probably the most important as it makes a funny line at the top and you don't want that. So you want, to want it hidden. We'll go back. If we go into our behavior settings, one thing you want to do, okay, you're going to be needing the pro version for this, but you're welcome to leave the gestures, like you don't have, you can leave them out, as it doesn't make that much of a big deal. But it looks really cool. So for the swipe up gesture, that's the one that you swipe up like that, it displayed the dock. So all you have to do is say swipe up and then toggle dock. So it'll show it or make it hidden. But if you don't want to do that, you can always just make the show home key or that home key action, you can make that toggle the dock, whatever you want, it's up to you. So that's behavior settings done, we're just going to go back. You're going to go into theme settings now, I've just been using the Gulo's icon pack, but you're welcome to use whatever, which one you want. If you go into your advanced settings, and the only thing you want to change here is pretty much overlapping widgets as that's going to come in real handy. So I'm going to go back, that is your Apex Launcher settings done, I'm going to go back, it should pretty much look like this, remember to swipe up to hide the, the dock. And so now we're going to move on to the pop-up widgets and the UCCW. Great, so the UCCW and the pop-up widgets, they go hand in hand. So you might want to watch this as it can get quite tricky. You're going to start off with your UCCW. You're going to be opening it up in your app drawer, which is pretty much different than usual, as you'll be changing a few things that might seem a bit weird. So you're going to be going into your open now. You want to open a user. And from here you want to find that folder, remember that one that you copied onto your phone because now when you open it, it'll come up with all the different usips. So now the first one you're going to be changing is your commands. 
so it, it won't show anything right now that's because well it's it's quite bright but now if you push the, the background here that's going to bring up your select object menu here and then you want to select your hotspots as you can see all the hotspots have been set up nicely remember if you want to change each individual one you want to be going there's one two three four etc and just to change it you pretty much just select the hot, this hotspot button and you can change it from here remember check out our uccw tutorials below for more details on what what exactly a hotspot is so we started off with this one because it's going to be you want to open that pop-up weather widget that one that you saw at the top so when it brings up the command it's going to bring up your pop-up widgets so we're going to start up with this one you're going to select hotspot now and you want to go into shortcut next you want to select the pop-up widget one here see it says pop-up widget you're welcome to use the ad one if you're okay with having ads popping up on your home screen it doesn't really look it doesn't look really cool and this one is so cheap you just have to try it out so it's going to come up with a screen like this it may look a bit weird these are not going to be here it's just going to be create a new pop-up widget one thing you do want to select is full screen you want this enabled because then it's going to show your notification bar at the top every time you show a widget and it doesn't look really good so the first thing you want to do is say create a new pop-up widget next you'll be able to select any widget to pop up really cool feature but we just worried about uccw so we're just going to select for the weather widget i went for a 4x3 you're welcome to use a 4x4 but 4x3 enable me to not get confused so from here you want to select use up now because now you want to be importing your weather use up into it and making it pop up that weather use up so i'm going to select weather now don't worry too much about it not showing here you can configure you'll be able to configure that later and you want it to be a custom position and then initial position it's going to change from phone to phone but say for my nexus 4 let's try out a 200 and a 700 for the y position go okay like that so it, you can't really see too much what it's going to look like now but if we select back it's going to now pop up like it did there if it doesn't sometimes you want to edit it and it'll disappear it's really annoying you're just going to have to redo that whole process again yeah it's a bit time consuming but once it's set up it'll be sorted like this so now you want to select that one that you've just created because now as you can see that second hotspot the one that's going to show you the weather it's going to pop up that uccw weather widget that you have currently or just configured right now don't forget to save it you want to save this widget you want to go save skin and then just select you can call it whatever you want but just go okay so that will now save the skin so now even if you just use it have to have that as a static widget on your home screen then when you select that one it'll pop up your weather one next what you want to do once you've saved this one is now open up your ok glass user so you want to go open save or open user and you want to go to glass starter dot user again you won't be able to see it so if you go background and you select hotspot boom there it is so remember once again it's only going to be your first hotspot so you're going to select hotspot you're going to go into your shortcuts you're going to go into your pop-up widgets and now you're going to be creating that command one that remember that one that we've just done you have to do it pretty much in reverse as it gets a little bit complicated well you see cw because now you're going to be saving this one so you're going to scroll down a 4x4 worked well for this one but see now you want to select it from this imported skins list because remember you're not going to be importing the user it. it's already been imported onto your phone so here you just want to find it here you want to look for the one called commands so remember again you want to make it a custom position and that initial position you're welcome to leave it as a zero zero it looks pretty good so don't worry about it not showing you can just select it remember when it's on your home screen you can just tap it like that so you're just going to go back now and it's going to pop it up so you want to select that one now and that'll now be configured for this skin so remember you want to you just want to go options here or menu and then save the skin again just select save skin go okay just so if anything happens you'll always have or well, it'll always be configured to that pop-up widget great so all your, your all your skins have been saved so if we just go back now back again we're ready to start adding them in so you just want to hold down on the home screen select widgets we're going to start off with a clock one so if you just select uccw a two by one let's try it out go into use up and then let's go with the clock so you're just going to select it nothing too fancy about it you can also add your hotspot to say open up the clock if you want but there it is like that you're welcome to hold it down select resize and then resize it accordingly but now we get to the juicy bits of adding the okay glass and showing up the commands and then showing up the weather 
that UCCW skins, all those. So you're gonna go hold down, select widgets again, and then scroll to UCCW. Let's start off another two by one. So remember now you've saved them, so they're gonna be in your UCCW list. And you wanna look for the glass starter. So here it is over here, just gonna select it. Now remember you just have to double check if your UCCW, if your hotspots modes are on or off. If you don't really know how to do that, just go into your menu again, go into UCCW, go into your menu here, you wanna go into lock widgets and make sure that it's on. That'll now enable the hotspot mode, just so you can see what it's gonna be like. So here my widget has now appeared, let's make it a little bit lower, so we're gonna drag it down like that, and let's see how it goes. We're gonna select it, and it pops up with it over there. Pretty simple. Now, this sh it should have actually a hand here showing you to tap it. So you're just gonna tap the hand and then it'll configure it for you. And then once that's happened, it should have these. So you're gonna say, what's the weather? And then it's gonna pop up with that one. Now, you might run into the error saying fail to initiate or instantiate the, the, the widget. That's because it's pretty much conflicting with the pop-up widget and UCCW. So that's why you have to work backwards. And that's what kept happening to me when I said, what's the weather? You have to work backwards. So you first have to configure this widget here, even trying just adding in a static widget, making sure that when you select that, it'll pop up your weather widget. Then once that's saved, then you can, then it's okay to make this one at the bottom to configure it to the one at the top. So it might take some trial and error, but you eventually get the hang of what actually is going on. Remember to always work backwards to save your work and just trial and error, we'll work it out. Great, so that's pretty much your UCCW skin setup. Remember, you're welcome to change your hotspot, so say if you don't want it to open up Google, your Google Now, you can make it open your Chrome, but remember to check out the tutorials below. And also, if you get a white box, you wanna hold it down, drag it into remove, and then re-add it with the list of your UCCW skins, just in case that happens. Great, once that's done, you can move on to the second screen, we'll be adding in the RSS reader, and the music widget at the bottom. Great, now these two widgets are very easy to add. You're just gonna hold down and select widgets. We'll start off at the bottom with Next Music. Great, great free app. Remember, if you ever had Apollo, well, now they've brought it onto the Google Play Store. So here is Next Music. Just gonna select a four by one. You're just gonna hold it down and select Resize. It's gonna now resize it for you. And that is your music widget. Next, you wanna be adding in the Dear Reader. It is a paid app, but for now, I think it's a fantastic RSS reader and probably the best so far. I just went for the 4x2 list widget. Just want to hold down, select resize. Yours, if this is the first time adding it, it's not going to look like this, obviously, because you need to configure it. And to do that, you're going to select the little deer head at the top, which will come up with this, and it's going to ask you for a sign-in. You can use your Google Plus sign-in, which is actually fantastic. I really enjoy that. But one thing you want to change, if you want to just go into your menu here, you want to go into your settings, we're going to select widget settings and you want to make the theme, you want to make it go for a dark theme or light theme, but a dark looks pretty cool. And it's going to save you some battery, I guess. So there is your home screen setup. Oh, and if you really want to show off, you're welcome to use the app called Transparent Screen. It's a bit of a battery eater, but if you say change it to the resolution to make it look good and you want to select start and stop and you turn off your wallpaper, then you pretty much have the closest you'll get to Google Glass on your phone how cool is that? I really enjoy this Google Glass theme. It's really innovative. So yeah, thank you very much for watching this video tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe to the My Color Screen channel as well as check out our Facebook, Google Plus and Twitter communities. This is Marco here from My Color Screen and as always, don't stop customizing.